Welcome to the headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. In the earthquake damaged town of Luosui in Sichuan, there's a young boy called Zhao Zifeng. The 14 year old used to be rude to his parents and especially disrespectful to his mother, who has a facial nerve disorder that makes her mouth slope to one side. But after the May 12 tremor, Zhao Zifeng became a junior volunteer for Ziji, and very soon he changed his ways. The oil in the wok makes the same noise when the vegetables are thrown in, but the person frying and stirring the food is a young boy. Cooking up a few standard dishes is a simple task for Zhao Zifeng. The shout of praise produces a smile on the 14-year-old's face, but he admits he wasn't always so willing to do the chores. My temper was bad. I used to answer back and then act cute. <laughs> when talking about what he was like before, Zhao Zifeng feels ashamed. His change in attitude took a short few months. The only child's father is a meat trader and his mother a farm laborer who was born with facial nerve palsy that makes her mouth droop to one side. In his rebellious years, the son was ashamed of his mother's looks and refused to go out together with her. And at home, he was argumentative. But all that changed after the earthquake. Zhao Zifeng and other children in the neighborhood went to Yongxing Park every day to work as junior volunteers for Ziji. It was a life-changing experience. Before, when he spoke, he was already rude and coarse. Since being with Ziji there, I thanked him for their help, because now he's changed a lot. And he speaks more gently, too. How was that spark of kindness kindled? In Zhao Zifeng's bedroom, we find the answer. Hanging above his neat and tidy desk is a junior volunteer ID. The small card represents a great honor and an invaluable lesson in learning how to give without thought of reward. Beside that are photographs of Zhao Zifeng with the city volunteers who taught him about gratitude and respect. On the desk is a container with a surprising story. I made it myself because Auntie Xiangzi said by saving 10 cents a day I could donate money to help other people. Now I put 50 cents in it every day. Now giving from the heart, having seen suffering, Zhao Zifeng knows how to be grateful for what he has. Apart from homemade bamboo coin banks, the wisdom of Jinsi aphorisms has also permeated family life. It changed his values and his school grades. He can do something for society to repay the kindness of our Taiwanese compatriots. I haven't finished reading this book yet. I have to read it to the end. The sunlight is bright and our parents' love is great, while an ignoble person is petty and intolerant. That means whatever goodness we have comes from our parents, and a person with a noble character has to be more broad-hearted. Only petty people pick fights with others and do bad things. A devastating earthquake, followed by the arrival of blue and white uniformed volunteers, led to a rebellious boy turning over a new leaf. At a tender young age, the seeds of love have been sown deep into Dalton's heart.